connect with our childlike imagination. But Remembering isn't just, about a isn't just a traditional film. It's also filled with technological advancements in storytelling. To talk more about this groundbreaking film, please welcome Brie Larson and Elijah Allen Blitz. How's it going, guys? Pretty good, pretty good. Very good to meet you, too. He has a great smile. <laughs> it was very disarming. You, too. Hi, how are we doing? It's great. Yeah. They told me to sit. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to sit by the coffee table. I mean, we could break I'm the learning how to do this. Bit, just, just a little <laughs> bit, you know? She's a pro. How, how are we doing okay, today? Okay, wait, wait. First of all, hello, everyone. Hi. Yeah. Hi. I'm just wanting to take a second and just see all of you. Thank you for being here. Are you having a good time? You all nice. look so happy. It's wonderful to see. Okay. okay, anyway, now we can talk about it. Now we can talk. Okay, okay great. I could have listened to that. Like, I was going to like, oh, yeah, hype up the crowd. Let's get them going. <laughs> all right, so thank you so much for coming by and chatting with us. Like, it's honestly a dream come true. I watched the film. It really made, it really, like, touched my heart, like, getting in touch with that inner child. Like, the film just premiered on Disney Plus September 8th, right? How do you guys feel? Um Amazing. This has been a long time coming. Yeah? Yeah, really, really just incredible to be here. I mean, it really looks a lot like that. Now, I know the film deals a lot with, like, capturing that idea that kind of can get away from you and kind of reconnecting with yourself in order to get it back. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how this idea came to you? Like, did you lose it and have to get it back? Like, how did that come to be? Yeah. You know, have, have any of you guys had a chance to see it yet? Not yet? No? Okay. Please see it. Hopefully, hopefully you get a chance to check it out, because it's on Disney Plus right now. Um, but the, the real I, I, genesis of this came from the, the work of Elizabeth Gilbert. And she talked about a story where this poet named Ruth Stone would be able to be outside in her field, and she would hear an idea coming in the distance. And she would be, have to run into her house to write down the idea as it came. And sometimes she would miss it, and sometimes the idea would come by, and she'd have to grab it by its tail and pull it back. And in those instances, is the idea, the whole poem that she was writing would come out completely in reverse from beginning to end, word for word. Wow. And that exploring that and what are ideas and where do they come from and what happens when we forget an idea and where do they go, that's really what we're exploring with this. That's really incredible. That's really poignant because it, it gives like a physical representation of the idea, right? And whipping it back, like it's like yes. a real, I, I absolutely love that. Uh, speaking of poignant, like I... I feel like I've spent eight minutes with your childhood, Brie. Like, you know, <laughs> with your childlike wonder, seeing that little version of yourself. Can you tell us just kind of what attracted you to kind of like attach yourself to this? Oh, well, I'm in love with this person and we talk about this stuff all the time. So it was a very easy collaboration. And part of what, uh, he had come up with this concept very quickly. Um, it was during the pandemic and we were just wanting to be creative and we were thinking, what could we do that would just be a small contained thing that we could do to be creative just um, on our own? Um, and then tandem to that, uh, a neighbor asked if I would give art lessons to her kids. And there was this little girl, Dusty, who was saying, things that were just wise beyond her years. I was I was learning so much from her and she was saying things like, oh, I remember when I was big and I was like, excuse me? <laughs> and so I came back from, you know, teaching her how to like make bracelets and was like, you need to make something with Dusty. And then all of this kind of came together in that way. Um, he had already had this structure for this story and we were able to work with Dusty to help build out what this world of imagination is. So those things that you see when you do see it, this world, this beautiful world of imagination, is uh, a lot of it came from her mind. Yeah. It came from talking with her, hanging out with her, asking her like, really? what's, what, what's happening? What do you see? And then Elijah worked with these incredible artists to build that world. And we did it on this thing called the volumetric stage, which you might know from the Mandalorian. It's kind of like something like that. Um, and you get to interact with it. So you, when you see things reflected in her eyes, that's real. She was actually reacting and getting to see what has been in her mind all this time in the physical form. That's incredible. And honestly, Dusty is the MVP of the movie. Like, oh, 100%. Oh, yes. 100%. I, I agree with you with like her being wise beyond her years as well. I was like, I've never said things like this, like, <laughs> you know, but uh, I know you just talked about the technological aspect, like, and you can interact with it. Can you talk a little bit more? Because blending storytelling with new age technology and creating like something completely different out of that, how was it, what was it like working on that? Oh, yes. Yeah. So yeah, there, there's a part to this that you guys maybe have never seen before. It has an augmented reality component where during the film, you can actually hold your phone or your iPad up to the screen and what you're watching will come off into your living room. 
the entire world of imagination, which is what this story is about, will be in your living room. There'll be dolphins, there'll be waterfalls, and I, I don't need to spoil it anymore, but it's, it's very cool. So I've actually had the idea of doing this for years and was told it was impossible. And, you know, there's a great quote from an incredible man named Walt Disney who said that <laughs> it's the right place to say it right now, man. It's the right place to say it right now. <laughs> Everybody. I'm sorry. It's a no. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. He said it's kind of fun to do the impossible. And yes, exactly. And we've, we've had the honor of working with the incredible team at Disney and the Disney Studio Lab to say, okay, we're going to jump in with both the, yes, Disney Studio Lab, yes, right there, yes, yeah. yes. It, and that, that team is what made this possible because it went from, no, 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 it's not possible. For years I've been talking with Bree about this idea. No, you can come off your screen and into your room and everyone's like, what are you talking about? And now it's actually a real experience that you guys can all get to enjoy. Right. And I think it's perfect that this is uh, this is what this sh this story is about. And I encourage all of you to watch it and to think for yourself. Like, what is it? How are we distracting ourselves from our truth? Whatever that you see in that golden light, what is it in you that you feel like you've lost? And can we get it back again? Because all of you have something. We've been pushing ourselves. Elijah's been pushing himself to to try and think about what is the future and how can we how can we better connect? How can we make the world better? And each one of you have that in you. And if you aren't, if you're afraid of doing it. Please do it. We need you to do it. It's so important. I love this. I feel like I, I'm interviewing you, but I feel like I'm getting like a TED talk. It's just kind of like how to, how to keep inspiring. It's like Walt coming uh, and touching us because that's what he's all done. That's exactly why we're all here. And it's so amazing to hear you like talk about that. But it's very intriguing how you can merge compelling film with innovative storytelling. Now, Bree, I want to ask you about just kind of like what was your process like coming on board with that? I know you're really excited about it, but when you first heard about it, did, at first you, oh, that's very impossible, but I want to be a part of that. Or did you say, let's do it? I, I, I want to. Oh, yeah, I'm all, I'm all in. If it, if it seems impossible, that's a yes for me. Yeah. I, that's a, I like really get, I really am into that. When people are like, oh, no, you can't do that. I'm like, oh, try, try me. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. Heard and that. it was just, it's all, it's all fun and it's magic and it's, it's, it's beautiful. And for me, I get to play all the time. That's what my job is. I get to play pretend all day, That's great. you know? So, so to get to do that with someone that I love so much and with an incredible group of people that were so encouraging, it's, it's freeing and, and wonderful, and it's the privilege of a lifetime. That's very inspiring. Very inspiring indeed. Everyone, please, Bree, Elijah, thank you so much for thank you thank you very much. coming thank with you us, so talking much. about me remembering. Like, it's honestly, I loved it so much, and it's, it's been incredible just to talk with you about it. Like, especially after seeing, I'm, sorry, I'm geeking out a little bit. Like, you're going <laughs> to, I can't look at you. Don't forget, if you, if you want to watch Remembering, you can stream it now on Disney+. Plus. Uh, but don't go anywhere. There's more excitement in store for you when you come back. A surprise performance from two very talented a recording artist who just so happens to be a father and son guitars duo in the much anticipated Disney Legends Awards ceremony as well that's happening right now. You don't want to miss any of it here at Disney at D23 Expo Live.